There it is, a crew celebrating in the control room after the landing on the moon for the first time in more than 50 years. This historic trip to the moon ushering in a new chapter of the great space race. ABC's Morgan Norwood has a story. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. History on the moon. We are transmitting and uh, welcome to the moon. After a week-long flight totaling more than 620,000 miles, a 14-foot-tall lunar lander named Odysseus successfully landing on the lunar surface just after 6 p.m. Thursday. Mission Control reporting that the craft is upright and transmitting data. Today, for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. But trouble before the historic landing. Roughly an hour before, the team scrambling to fix a navigation sensor crucial for that touchdown, yet creating a new software right here on Earth in those final moments and sending it to Odie. We're also not dead yet. Odie is now the first private spacecraft to land on the moon and the first American spacecraft to do so in more than 50 years. Odie will study the south pole of the moon, which is water and ice that could be converted to drinking water or be made into rocket fuel. Scientists say it's a giant step towards the next leap further into space. The moon has one sixth the gravity of Earth and no atmosphere. So it's a much easier place to launch deeper into the solar system. It really is the launching pad into human exploration out into deep space. So now Odie will help NASA understand what the South Pole is like before that critical Artemis mission to the moon in 2026, which of course will put astronauts back on the lunar surface. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.